Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris, and here behind me, I'm gonna have a 2023 Honda Civic LX. So let's go dive right in. All right guys, so here we are, staying right outside the 2023 Honda Civic LX. This is gonna be the entry level with many standard features and functions. If you're looking for those higher trims, I'll have it right up here in order for you guys. I wanna walk around this vehicle to show you guys all the cool standard features and functions so you guys be aware before you guys arrive at your local Honda dealership to take out a test drive to save you guys time. If you guys have any questions, you know what to do, drop them down below in the comments. I'll do my best to assist you guys from that point. Then also check out my other videos with more great information. And also if you guys found these videos helpful, please consider helping me out by hitting like and subscribe. Now let's dive right in for you guys so you guys will be in the know. All right, so here we are. Let's walk up here to the window sticker as usual, just for you guys. And you're welcome to pause the video right about there if you want to explore on your own. So I'll give it a good old pause and get a little review. Now let's walk over together here quick. So I'm talking about your fuel economy up here on the top right-hand corner. As you can see, you got 31 for the city, 40 for the highway with a combined of 35. Down here on the right-hand corner, it talks about your safety ratings. So take a look at that. Who doesn't love good safety ratings? Right over here is where the vehicle's made at. The price. And then we're gonna have the standard features and functions, which we're gonna to try to cover all those goodies for you guys today. All right, there's a supply charge for Platinum White Pearl for the color from Honda. That's what this is. I'm gonna back up here quick. I'm also gonna throw some additional color options up there so you guys be in the know. Then also there's gonna be a supply charge for that particular color. Then we'll step here towards the front. Comes down with two key fobs, all right. Fobs gonna look like these little bad boys right here. There's your fob. Now, all of your Honda sensing features are standard. I'm talking about your lane keep assist, adaptive cruise, your forward collision, road departure, traffic jam assist, and traffic sign. So safety is pretty much its middle name, okay? So all the good stuff there for an entry level. Now, we're also going to have a... Uh, 2.0 non-turbo four-cylinder with a CVT. I'm going to throw some horsepower and torque up there so you guys know what you're playing around with. Now, after that, let's talk about a little bit about the cosmetics here up front on the grill, okay? So, what I like is the, the LED lights. You got LED headlights, taillights, and daytime running lights. As you kind of hit the lock button, you can see a whole little bit of that going on. I like how they thin these out, elongate those a little bit. It looks a little more aggressive. And then, the wipers are down under the hood line, okay? Nice kind of hidden for you. So pretty uh, pretty snazzy, one would say. Now, we'll step right over here off to the side as we get done looking at the grill. The front, we're gonna come right over here to these 16 inch steel rims with hubcaps right on them. Then we're gonna back right up here. I'm gonna check out side profile of the vehicle. I'm gonna throw some external measurements up there for you guys so you guys have been in the know. How does it compare to other vehicles out there? How does it compare to your guys's? Is it gonna fit in the garage? Let us know down in the comments. Now, as we're looking out here, you can see we got body colored handles. We got a little chrome action right there on the top half, uh, top half of the window. We have a body colored side mirrors. So that's kind of nice. As we talk about the side mirrors here quick, I love how they put these down on the door. Instead of the A-pillar, it opens up your blind spot quite a bit. So there's a photo up there so you guys can see that, what I'm talking about. You will notice that when you take this out for a test drive. Now these are gonna be breakaway mirrors. If you want to fold these in or out, if you accidentally hit something, hey, that's fine. These will move for you, okay? So when the vehicle's unlock, your gas door, you simply push it right in. It's a capitalist gas tank, no longer a $2 cap to argue, debate with, or worry about replacing in the future. It's a simple slide and go. So now when this is shut, we lock it all up. No one can access that, okay? So pretty cool. All right, once again, we're back here. We're gonna have those LED taillights. This makes a bold statement as you apply onto the brakes. You can have a multi-angle rear camera. We'll show you guys more of that on the inside here. We're gonna have a trunk release button. Boop, right there on the fob. Pops right open for you. And there we go. I'm gonna throw some cargo space up there so you guys know what you're playing around with. Hopefully there's enough room for life happens. You'll be like, challenge accepted. Good amount of room down here. You're gonna love it. Now this bench seat does fold down. You just gotta pull this bad boy, go around and pull it right down. Carpet mats come standard. Down below you get your spare tire and those additional tools you may need for those unforeseen events. Hopefully you guys never need it. Now they put a lot of good insulation right in there. That's gonna be great for the passengers in the back seat there to help reduce that road noise for you guys, all right?
here we go this one's gonna have the gray interior here quick for you guys we're gonna come right back to it in a second let's look at the door here quick so got a cloth right here you got power windows pretty nice and easy a little cubby space down below now we're gonna shift focus right here on the interior quick so cloth seats seat belts as you can see where they're all at right now car seat buckles there's your anchor so you got one for each spot oops and then you're gonna have your right here for your anchors too as well they're all they're all gonna be marked for you So now as we jump right up front here quick, we're gonna look at, at the driver's side door. You guys know about power windows. You got your power locks, you got your mirror selector between left and right. And then you get the D-pad to adjust accordingly to the window lock button, just in case any young whippersnappers in the back like to play with the windows, you can lock them out. Some additional cubby space. And then you got your trunk release right here, okay? We're gonna come right here inside. You're gonna have manual seats. You got a pump action to raise up and down reclines right over here you have a squeeze bar here just like forward and back okay now of course we're gonna have your pedals to get to a and b hood release wraps around let's pull that let's show you guys some common courtesy stuff just for you all right so here we are right underneath the hood you guys already know about the engine the horsepower the transmission let's talk about the stuff you may check on your own okay give you guys a little visual like for example the washer fluids a nice blue cap easy to find located right there we'll come right over here to your coolant right there it is oil cap dipstick bright orange you can find that anytime day or night too as well right over here your battery connections nice easily exposed just in case you ever need to jump or jump someone else or replace that battery there it is then you have your brake fluid too as well then you have a huge fuse box right there anything else for those more advanced questions contact your local honda service center they'd be glad to assist you guys answer those more technician questions just for you let's give you guys one quick little visual for those that like to work on the car on their own or have the capabilities All right, we're gonna jump right back up front. Let's get going. All right, so here we are, right in the Honda Civic here just for you guys. First step you're gonna do is make sure you have the key fob with you in your purse, your pocket, your jacket, just anywhere with you in the car. Put your foot down on the brake, then hit the start button and watch your vehicle light up like a Christmas tree. Whew, looking pretty good. Now let's come over here on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. We got some cool buns here to play around with. The first one is going to be the little wheel action right here. It's going to adjust the brightness of your driver's interface. So as I'm putting this up and down, you can see right here. There we go. Let's bring this all the way back up. Let's blast this. Now it's bright. So yeah, driver interface right there. Adjust your brightness. Now you're going to have your vehicle stability assist button right here. If you ever need to turn that off. And then you got this little button here as you come up on your driver's interface. You have a couple options to deactivate like your road departure and then your forward collision. When I, how I'm selecting this stuff, it's gonna be this little wheel right here. Just like that, I push that wheel right in, okay? But we're gonna keep all that stuff on so when we take it off our test drive, people can experience that on their own. And now your steering wheel is gonna be a telescope. Boop. That released, goes in, out, up, and down. So go ahead adjust as you guys see fit and lock it right back in place so make sure you guys are comfortable. Now we're gonna focus here on the steering wheel controls here quick. Let's take a moment, look at that. Now over here on the right hand side, it's gonna be all of your safety features here, okay? So let's talk about your adaptive cruise control or how can you enable your cruise, okay? So maybe right now, your screen looks like this. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is selecting this button right here. This is gonna be your cruise control so you can enable your cruise control, all right? So right now I have standard cruise. I can tell the difference because I have an icon right here with a little speeder meter and an arrow right there, right? That's gonna be standard cruise. So now if I hold this button down here for a few seconds, now it matches with that button right there, it's gonna be your adaptive cruise control, okay? I can tell because I have a car with my little speeder meter with a arrow that's locking in place. So that's the adapted, okay? So I'm gonna hit that button one more time so you can see it. It's gonna tell you guys here on the standard side, Oop, standard cruise, adaptive cruise control, okay? Now, for adaptive cruise control, what that is, let's say you're driving down the road, you're going at 30 miles an hour, because you have your cruise control on, and then, you know, at that time, and a car in front of you is going 28, it finds a car and range, you can select the range, as I select this button, 
This is you selecting the range. All right, less lines means closer, more lines means they're gonna be further away. It finds it, beep, beeps at you. As it slows you down, you can turn that on or off and it maintains that distance for you guys, okay? So that's pretty cool. When they get out of the way, whoop, there they go. It goes back to whatever your cruise control is set at, okay? So that's pretty cool. Now, right over here, you got your lane keep assist and traffic jam assist is this button right here. So as you select that, the icon will pop up in your driver's interface saying, hey, it's available, you can use it. Okay, so if I hit that button again, it's gone, okay? So, with your traffic jam assist is for your city driving under 45 miles an hour. As you're driving, you go out of your lane a little bit, whoop, it will beep at you, beep, 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 right? As it brings you back and keeps you centered. You shouldn't be playing ping pong going back and forth. Well, it does a pretty good job keeping you guys centered. Now, cool thing is you can turn off the beep if you just wanted to bring you back, that's great. You can also change the sensitivity of that as it brings you back or just turn that completely off and have it just to warn you, then it's up to you to come back, okay? Now, you get some visual cues as it's doing its job to you as well because you get lines right up here, right? Uh, when it finds the lines, it'll be green lines too when it's working. So as you guys are out there, you're doing some test driving, play around a little bit with that, kind of get comfortable with it, ask your sales guy about that too as well, okay? So now your lane keep assist is more for your highway driving too, so 45 to 90 miles an hour, it'll help keep you in the center of your lane, same concept once again, okay? So yeah, now one thing I forgot to mention when you're talking about your cruise control, how to actually activate that once you choose between adapted cruise or your standard cruise, you have this toggle switch right here. All right, it says set. You just tap it down, and it sets it right in place. Then you can, you know, toggle up or down to adjust your speed accordingly, okay? Now we'll come right over here on this side of the screen. You got your home. We're going to talk about that, how it's going to navigate you through the driver's interface here in a second. You got your voice command right here. Hey, call Crazy Honda Chris because you got phone paired. How cool would that be? Then you got your source. You got your media controls and stuff from that point with your volume, okay? Now let's talk about on these sticks here. You got your wipers. There we go. And then you got your headlights right here. Auto, turn in indicators. Beep. All right, now let's talk about the driver's interface here quick, just for you guys. So as we get right in here quick, let's talk about the layout so you guys will be aware. You got your speed right over here. Then you got a digital speeder meter right over here. All right, and now we're gonna have your gas tank. It's gonna be way down here on the bottom. Okay, it's a full tank of gas. How are you gonna be actually reading that is those little Hershey bars. It's the best way to describe it. You can see if it's all the way over, hey, it's a full tank. Now, if it was a half tank, obviously half of those Hershey bars would be gone. It's not this little red line that some people, you know, accidentally misread. All right, that, that little red dot. So, hey, common question. Just wanted to let you guys aware. Now, you can see we have 15 miles on this bad boy right there. We're in park. You're gonna have 52 degrees outside right now. You don't have a temperature gauge on there. It's going to be a temperature light that's going to come on. So if your engine is not to temp, if it's too hot, too cold, you get a light that comes right on, okay? Now we're going to have the time. It's uh, 8. Sorry, it's going to be 1018 if I can read time. And then you're going to have some more information right here on the left-hand side of your driver's interface. Now, to navigate through all that, I'm going to use this little wheel action to scroll up and down and push in, okay? So let's kind of start from... Let's just start from right here. Warnings. So if I like have a door open, boom, you know, someone's not buckled up, stuff like that, other kind of warnings, it'd be right underneath there. You're gonna have your fuel range. So as you select this here quick, you can see right now a full tank of gas, I can go 389 miles, which is gonna be maybe gonna adjust accordingly, depending on my driving habits. The more I drive it, it's gonna adjust, okay? Um, average fuel right now within 15 miles, only 20 miles a gallon. Um, up here, you're going to see you got a graph between 0 to 90. That's going to show you a lifetime feed, what you're getting for your fuel economy, okay, as you're driving. So that's pretty cool. We're going to hit the back button. you got speed and time, so you guys can play around a little bit with that if you want to play with speed and time. Time yourself, driver's attention monitoring system. This is like a video game, I guess. It's going to be telling you when you're doing a really bad job at driving. No one wants to be told that you're doing a bad job at driving, but let's involve safety, okay? So this is one of those really cool features on the Honda. Let's say you're out there, you're driving, the wind's blowing you around, the car knows the difference between that versus you doing a really bad job at driving that uh, you're falling asleep at the wheel. It's going to encourage you to pull over and take a break, okay? That's what your driver's attention level monitoring system will do for you, okay? 
your seat belts. I can see who's gonna buckle up right now. So yep. So obviously all those are buckled up at the moment. I'm sitting right here in the driver's seat without having a seat belt on. So now I can yell at people. Maintenance, if you ever need to see what kind of maintenance stuff that needs to be done, it's all gonna be right in here. Safety support. We're back at this screen again. So as you adjust this stuff, this little green car with the lines and stuff around it, will adjust, as you can see that. I shut off my road departure. Oh, I shut off my forward collision. So that little car kind of adjusts. I'm gonna turn all that back on here quick. You got your settings. This is gonna be your vehicle settings. I'm gonna have a video that goes through all those goodies here for you guys. I'm gonna, uh, once I have it uploaded, it's gonna be down in the description with other links to as well to set you guys up for success. Custom display. You can choose, if you have all this stuff that you really don't wanna use on your driver's interface, you can take some of this stuff away. Clean that up a little bit. And if you want nothing up here, there we go. Now you can change your speed and distance if you want to from this point by clicking hold that little wheel in. Now, since we're all done talking about the driver's interface, let's come over here towards your dashboard. Take a moment, let's look at this here quick. You got a nice honeycomb fancy thing going on here with your adjustable vents. All right, to find those adjustable vents, I got mine right here, this one's mine. And every time I get it centered, it clicks. Let's close it, let's open it. Yeah, nice little soft. Once again, this is my vent. We're gonna argue about whose vent this is if I have a passenger, and then they're gonna have one way over here. I guess they have no choice. I'll let them keep that one, okay? So hazard lights, if you ever need them, they're gonna be right there for you guys. Let's come right over here to the touch screen. Hopefully we can see some of this is going on with the glare. Perfect. So volume button. When choosing care on behalf of your life. Turn it on and off the radio, okay? You can pair up your phone right here. Radio option, as you select that, you have FM. Hit it again, you got AM radio. Hit the media button. You don't have a CD player, but hey, download your stuff onto your flash drive. It's a plug and play, okay? So it's pretty nice and easy. Then you hit it again, you got your Bluetooth. So you, you know, if you're gonna connect anything via Bluetooth, there we go. Then you can have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. That's a plug and play as well. So you have an Apple phone, plug it in. Android phone. You plug it in, but first you have to download Android Auto, allow all the permissions. It'll take like your Google Maps, Apple Maps, um, display it up here, plays it through the vehicle, and then also with your other compatible apps. So that's pretty nice. It plays through the speakers, and it helps you to keep your eyes off your phone as you kind of going out there exploring new places. All right. You got a little back button here, a little menu option. If the screen is flickering, it's because my phone cannot keep up with the refresh rate of this touch screen. I do apologize, guys. I'm running low on battery life. I should have charged this bad boy. And there we go. Now, cool little tip here quick for you guys. The radio, FM or AM radio. You push this in, you know, your little tuner. You tap it in. Boom, you get all these radio stations. You can find these a lot quicker if you wanted to. Okay, just, I don't know, pick one. And then there we go. Okay, now we're gonna come right down here. We already talked about the dashboard with adjustable vents and stuff are. We're gonna come right down here to the climate controls here quick. Now that button to turn it on. You can see your fan speed within and on the button right here. I like how it clicks. I like sound effects. Temperature, more clicking. Visuals right here. You see the temperature. I got my modes. It's gonna be displaying right over here. More sound effects. And then here we go. Air circulation, front defroster, rear defroster, AC on and off. So this is gonna be your climate controls. Pretty easy to use as you're out there driving, you know, finding knobs. Nice, touch screens, easy to grab too. I got a little resting here uh, for my fingers as I kind of point things, trying to, you know, drive and stuff like that. So I can still pay attention to the road. Now we're gonna come right down here. You have a tray. You're gonna have a 12 volt plug-in. USB, you have a nice little texture going on right here. Cup holders. So we can have a park, reverse, neutral, drive, S mode or sport mode as some people call it. Then you have a low gear drive. S mode is going to change up your gear ratio a little more. Acceleration, okay? And then you're going to have a low gear drive for the steep hills, mountains, stuff like that, okay? 
Now as we would put your foot down on the brake, put this bad boy in reverse, your multi-angle camera automatically displays. Right down here, you got these little buttons which show you how the camera's gonna act. So this is gonna be a nice 180 view, catches a little more of your blind spot. Then uh, right behind your view, as you can see the difference between on that wall, big difference. Then we come to a straight down shot from your rear bumper. So as you're doing uh, parallel parking, backing up to something, you can see how close you're getting to that object. Or if you wanted to ran something over, there we go. Now, as you turn your wheels, guess what? That turns to you as well, and then changes colors to let you know your tires are not aligned. Okay. Put that right back in park. You're gonna have an econ bud. Econ's gonna make you more fuel efficient, most effective for your highway driving. Okay, so as we get up here on the driver's interface, as I select this button, you guys will see econ mode's on. Boom, little green leaf, okay? Little green leaf is like, hey, econ, we're on. So you could be sacrificing acceleration power and AC power to give you better fuel economy. So keep in mind those really hot summer days. Uh, I know sometimes it gets a little crazy here in Iowa, but some of those southern states, I couldn't imagine, I would die. I'm gonna choose to be comfortable. So I'm gonna turn that bad boy off so it won't affect my AC power as much. But if that's not a problem for you, there we go, all right? Now we have idle stop. Idle stop is going to be standard. Idle stop is going to be more for a fuel emission awareness. Um, so every time you get to a stop in their car, it meets the requirements like your cabin temp is to the temp that you set to the vehicle, the engine's to temp, stuff like that. It will psh, shut off the engine as you apply onto the brake, hold the brake down, you know, and shuts it down. Now, as soon as you let go off the brake, the engine starts right back up before you usually step onto the gas, okay? Now, for me, it doesn't bug me. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings. Hey, that's fine. Honda has allowed you to turn that off by hitting this button right there. All right, it is off, okay? Then you have a nice little A down here to let you know idle stop is off. Now, you have to do that every time you get into the car, okay? Just make a habit, get in, hit that button if you want to deactivate it, they're hoping you forget so they can be more worried about the fuel emissions, okay? Now, you're going to have electrical parking brake. As you pull that bad boy up, you got a little red light to indicate, hey, your electrical parking brake's on. And then also right here on the driver's interface, it says brake, okay? To turn that off, you simply put your foot down on the brake and push that button right in. Now it's off. So if I did not put down my foot down on the brake, right, and I just push this button in, it's going to tell you, hey, you got to push, you know, on the brake pedal. Let's do it. Now we're going to have a hold brake too as well i have a video that talks more about that and visual detail so that's gonna be pretty nice for you guys for the stop and go traffic armrest right here let's pop this open got a little tray action oh nice if i want to move the little tray action back i can if i want to take it out i can there we go i can hide my funions for my kids my older one she likes to steal them from me let's talk about the glove box here quick boom Deep enough, challenge accepted. Everything goes in a whole new dimension when you throw it right in there for you, okay? Now you got your rear view mirror. We got your map lights. There we go. And then right here. So if you guys want to put this in the center... Then I open up a door, but lights come on. Okay, you got your dome lights right there. So, pretty cool stuff. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching.